guys. Well, I'm here with our sponsor, Dr. Greenberg from Las, Va uh, excuse me, Las Vegas Dermatology. We're very excited to have you here. Jillian, thanks for having me. Yes, of course. And you've got all kinds of swag for the audience. We love that. Brought, brought some bags. And I also brought uh, some of my team to, to talk with people afterward. Yeah, they're, your team's all out and about. I love it. And then we're actually we're going to have a giveaway at the end of even more swag. Yeah, so. uh, some laser hair removal giveaway for people who don't want their extra body hair. Yeah, because who wants that, right? It's a very popular thing now to get yeah. rid of unwanted hair. Very trendy. So tell me why everyone should have a dermatologist in their life. Everybody should have a dermatologist because they need somebody to point out where their bad growths are and to help them look better. So where's most of people's concerns? Is it like health concerns or I know cosmetic things are becoming more and more popular. So what services do you have? So really it's twofold. So one on the medical side, skin cancer, acne, psoriasis. Uh, things that are concerning in a medical way. And then on the cosmetic side, uh, laser tattoo removal, laser hair removal, Botox fillers. So uh, derma penning, which is a new microneedling procedure. There's a lot out there to help people enhance and improve their appearance. Oh, interesting. So are more, most people focused on that then? I'd say it's about uh, 15 to 20% of the business is, is that part of it. And then people come into the office with a medical concern and I've seen even little pictures where they say, really, I don't have a medical concern. I just wanted to talk about the cosmetic stuff. And then for insurance reasons, they wanted to come in off of for some, other, <laughs> no, some other reason. They really do come in for another yeah. reason. But when they're in the office, all of a sudden, some other concerns pop up. And yeah. And do you find that most people have a dermatologist or they don't know where to go? or? Uh, a lot of people are, I get a lot of funny questions from people, well, you're a dermatologist, are you a real doctor? And the answer to that question is yes. Uh, we, I had to go to four years of medical school and do an internship and a residency, and I actually did two residencies, one in internal medicine, so I was at Georgetown for three years, and then I did a uh, dermatology residency as well. Huh. So what inspired you to become a dermatologist? Uh, I. I was a fourth year med student. I'd already matched to do internal medicine when I found dermatology. And I thought it was the coolest thing. They were lasering people's wrinkles away and cutting out skin cancers and removing cysts. And people actually wanted to see the dermatologist, whereas some of the other doctors, people didn't want to go there. And I thought, what a nice field where people want to see you. Yeah, especially if you're making them look better, especially it, it, in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, there's a lot of that. It's a competitive environment, and so you get uh, some people who are getting older for the field in which they're in because younger people are coming every year to take their jobs, so they need to do more to look better. And okay. Yeah, we can help with that. Yeah. Okay, so tonight we're actually giving away um, three certificates for um, laser hair removal. So if you go to the... Facebook page of the Downtown Podcast. We actually have um, something on the laser hair removal from Las Vegas Dermatology that you can share. And if you like Las Vegas Dermatology's page, we're going to give away these certificates. And that'll be announced after the show. We'll reach out to you through Facebook. So thank you so much. We're excited to give these away. I know people are definitely into it and they want to win. So yeah, well, thank you. And you know, we also have uh, our, our Twitter for Las Vegas Dermatology is at LVDerm. And I have a personal uh, Twitter account. It's yeah. at HL Greenberg. So I try to keep mine uh, separate from the business. Got it. OK, cool. Yeah. So and you can also find us um, at the downtownpodcast.tv. Follow us on Vine, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you.